the Bronx. <laughs> so exciting. So welcome everyone. Welcome to John Street United Methodist Church. I am the leader here. My name is Lisa Hector Griffith, and I do have some community news and announcements for you. Uh, first off, I want to draw your attention to our blue inserts today. And in that insert, you will see everything that's going on this week in the church and all kinds of updates about some of our members on the back, uh, as well as other uh, pertinent items. So if you take this home with you, you'll have everything you need for the week. I wanted to remind you that Tuesday we continue to have our presentation yeah. 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 on the 34th, and Wednesday our staff will be from 10 to 2.
We'll be reading from 1 John chapter 3, 1 through 7 in the New International Version. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who sins and breaks the law, in fact, Sin is lawlessness, but you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins, and in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Amen. Eight times 
in his love and God remain in the new covenant community. The passage we read this morning covers the heart and the first sentiment of the censure of Peter from John. He encourages the children of God to act righteously, righteously and also wisely in the midst of this environment. Although the world may not recognize Jesus as Christ, and also their passion to share Christ's love with the world. John also encourages the children of God to be in union with God in His image and likeness. Once I mention this, our relationship with Jesus defines our relationship with God. Likewise, our relationship with each other in love of Christ also defines our relationship um, with others as well. Uh, 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 our relationship with Christ, <laughs> I'm confused. John strongly encourages us to abide in Christ in our relationship with others. As we abide in Him, we are in union with God in His image and also likeness. This abiding reality is expressed in the heart of this central appeal from John. He says, Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. Abiding by this ethic brings the Spirit of God into the fellowship of the community and both empowers and emboldens the community to manage and deal with the spirit of the world. Then John concludes this appeal with the consoling security of a eternal relationship with God. He says, Little children, you are from God and have conquered the spirit of the world. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. John's message for us this morning is very strong and clear. We are God's children. But sometimes we feel we fail to be in right relationship with God due to our own nature. Sometimes we are distracted by others who don't abide in the faith of Christ. We are alone in the world. But we should keep this faith in our minds. We are already the children of God. And this morning, let us turn up, listen carefully to our spiritual grandfather, John. He said, Oh, little children, you are the children of God, and that is who you are. Amen. <coughs> now, the killer said, Jesus loves me, as you are the response to the message. Kingdom of God, 191. <coughs>
grief in the Middle East and Ukraine. Uh, I have two. One is um, let's keep Charlie and um, Mike in their, our prayers since they're not feeling well and couldn't make it today. And also just a joy of all this new equipment we have and the very powerful, effective light there. Yeah. So that's all a right. big joy. Thank you. Uh, please remember uh, Charlie and Mike in your prayer. They are not feeling well today. Uh, they do want to share that um, with you, so they now stay home. I let them know that uh, live streaming is available so they could join us you know, via live streaming. Um, but so, um, uh, yeah, I have a great joy that finally uh, we are now stable uh, equipment uh, for live streaming. So our ministry is now beyond the wall of the church. So, uh, Thank you for your prayer and support, and also support from our uh, uh, conference as well. Thank you. For the people, for the people of Sydney, Australia, and the uh, people who died due to the knife attack. Um. Uh, which is uh, Yeah, the knife attack in Sydney, Australia. Oh, okay. okay. There were a number of people killed. Alright, um, I was not aware of that. Um, people in Australia, uh, there was some um, knife attack and then some killed, wounded. So, and we also remember them in our prayer. Thank you. And also, please remember, remember uh, Mary Bishop uh, in your prayer. She's not home. Uh, so, she, uh, they found that. Uh, Blood club, 95% blood each. So thankfully, uh, they found it and then she gave a treatment for that. So uh, we give thanks to God for that. And she's ready to home now. Continue prayer for uh, Pat Miller and she recovers. Yes, thank you. Uh, Pat Miller and she is uh, in uh, recovery. Uh, so also, I was supposed to uh, visit her last week, but she called. And we did you know, this with a natural voice. And then she had lost a very bad, uh, bad cold. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's now fine, but also remember that in your prayer. All right, and now. To tell you more about the Continue. Tell you more about the Yes, Teddy. Uh, also, you know, remember her in your prayer too, and Judy as well. So, yeah, thank you. She returns home today from her daughter's. Oh, okay, she from the cheese. Okay, all right. Thank you. Let us pray now with the spirit of silent prayer. We pray for those who share. We pray for ourselves as well. And then I'll read the pastor of the cross. Let us turn in silent prayer. <coughs> Almighty God, as your beloved children, we come before you. We give thanks to you for calling us your children. We give thanks to you for your son Jesus Christ, who saved each of us, who made us your children. Lord God, as we gather together, we worship you and praise. Your name, as we do so, we believe you. 
you have God's glow in you and love of and guide God to be the community of faith you want us to be. As you and God to know, Lord, we come before you with our prayer request. Especially this day we pray for those within your community of faith who are in need of your healing presence. We will lift up the names of the presented before you. And we together pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We will also pray for those whose lives are heavily affected by the war and injustice in the world. Loving God, as we lift them up to you, hear our prayers in your mercy. We pray to you, gracious giver of life, for all who suffer and are afflicted in body or in mind, for the hungry, for the homeless, for the sick and the wounded, for those in loneliness, fear and anguish, in doubt and despair, and for the people who live in darkness without hope. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer in your mercy. For my God, we also pray for our church. Help us to the church, serving you and your people with your love. Help us to sustain our ministry with your guidance and wisdom. And help us to grow in your love day by day as we continue following the teaching of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord God, you know us, our weakness and our need. We lift all of them up to you. Help us and guide us with your spirit. We give thanks to you, Lord, for listening to our prayer this morning. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray together. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now, out of gratitude to the love of God, we offer our time, hello, and treasure. I'm not sure, please come forward. Please join me in the prayer of education repeat in your holy name. Holy God, thank you for making Jesus the author of life, whom you raised from the dead. You see a good marvelous miracles of forgiveness, renewing healing and new life in our midst. We know that these days can come from our power or piety, but by your goodness. As we reach out to people who have committed many of our closest to you, let our offerings contribute to the ongoing war of the source of Jesus here and now. Amen. <laughs> now our closing hymn, God be with you till we meet again in the Moses 72. Let us let us sing.
Thank you. 